are two of the hardest hitting men that you're likely to see in a British wrestling ring. And they are here tonight for Unstoppable British Wrestling. It's Rob Drake. It's Sam Bradwell. These meaty men are about to slap some meat. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's on. Like two caged animals ready to, to go for one another. We've got the king of Bedlam, Rob Drake. He had a big win last time out at Air Rage in Paddyham. He beat Philip Michael in a non-title match. This is what has catapulted him here to this number one contender match. Now, of course, earlier in the evening we had another number one contender match. Don't forget that's also still in play. Saxon Huxley, Matt Fox going one-on-one. -on -one. Saxon Huxley coming out victorious in that match. Don't forget about that. But you've got two very intelligent competitors in that in this match right now. They will have one eye over the back of their shoulder. Most definitely. Now Rob Drake has described Gradwell as just another hurdle he has to climb over to get to the gold. So we get the collar and elbow tie up there. Drake, he's only 27 and he's been calling himself the uncrowned unstoppable British wrestling champion. We have to believe with power and physique as such as we're about to see. Look at that lock up. He may be proven right sooner rather than later. Side headlock applied by Gradwell. Gradwell does have the edge advantage. He is 31. Another former NXT UK competitor. A man of great experience and great prowess. Taking Rob Drake down with a shoulder tackle, but Drake quickly back to his feet. You know, both these men have such great pedigree. We know exactly where they've come from, but they've come here tonight. They've come here to Burnley to have a barnstormer and not just have a great match, not just for the winner's purse. I think it's more about pride more than anything. Absolutely, Ben. It's Bradwell shoots Drake off, but taken down by the shoulder tackle there. Oh, that's a slap. Just a pure open hand slap. And here we go. The fight is on. Blow for blow. Here we go. Burnley making it known that their favourite Sam Gradwell, but he's not in the driver's seat right now. Back in the side headlock is Drake. Leapfrog by Gradwell. Big arm drag there into the pinning predicament. Still two. Scooped him into it. He followed it through with a pin. Very innovative move as he stalls on the slam. Like an earthquake in this room. Now just the mount and pound. Taking it to the downed man there. Rob Drake. Almost knocked for six, not sure what to do. Not as confident as he looked three minutes ago. Big forearm smash. And now it's Sam Gradwell in control. As he whips Drake across in that corner, ducks the clothesline, and reverses Drake back in. Wow. Big, big boot there. Deep met by that big boot. Drake with a big lariat. Taking that man down. Now, Sam Gradwell has been doing a tour of his own getting his boots dirty everywhere from Finland to Poland recently and now he's here in Burnley how unlucky for him but the fact remains and you're absolutely right neither of these men big job there not resting on their laurels whatsoever they want to be at the absolute top of their games that chop echoing out throughout the fan zone here at Turf Moor no small building and you could hear it from pillar to post now Drake taking Gradwell to the outside and just trying to lay some forearm blows in across the chest pummeling him there telling the fans exactly what he thinks of them now perhaps taking a little bit too much time to exalt in the hate coming his way is Drake that might be something he has to learn as Gradwell nails him with a forearm shiver. And you could hear that on the back of Rob Drake. Good grief. Being taken a, on a tour around this ring. Being dragged and hung over that apron. What's going to happen here? Gradwell giving Drake a taste of his own medicine, laying some forearms across the chest of his own. 
No amount of chest there on Drake is going to cushion those blows that he just received. I never mind seeing the chest red, and we can feel that ourselves. Gradwell now to his feet. Drake back up as well. Forces Gradwell back into the corner. And Gradwell's trying to power out with those blows across the back. He's got a big forearm though. He's trying to get some momentum back. Pushes him off. Oh, close line to the back of the head. He's taking him down. And he stunned him. No. Almost trying to nail him a, a concussion spot almost at the back of the head. The nape of the neck. Get nailed there, it can knock you out in a single blow. That's just how resourceful Rob Drake is. He knows just exactly how to hurt his opponent. But, you know, it's not just about hurting the opponent, you know. Like, this is Sam Gradwell and Rob Drake are not enemies. These two have known each other since they were children. You know, they fought each other all over the world. And now, as you say, they're right here tonight. And there's that job again. Gradwell not being denied, he's right in Rob's face there. Sometimes the best of friends can make the best of enemies. And now he's going to deliver some chops of his own as well as some blows. Ricocheting all around this room. Reversal by Rob Drake, powerful Irish whip taking Gradwell into the corner. That took a lot out of him. Official checking up on Sam Gradwell there. As mentioned, Ben, you do have to give the experience advantage to Sam Gradwell, but who do you feel has the power advantage here? These to be two very evenly matched men in that particular house. Well, honestly, I feel Rob Drake, even though he's just been taken down by the boot here, I feel that like he's got a lot to prove. Look, let's just call it right down the middle. There's a very large shadow being cast over him. I think he'll be desperate to stop being the Owen, the Matt, he wants to be his own man, and he dodges that flying technique over there. That cross body, that flying shoulder tackle, not to be. Rob Drake wanted to be his own man, and he might make that happen tonight. Both men down now. The blows, the punishment that they've taken, taken its toll. The referee institutes the 10 count. He is up to three. And I don't think anybody wants to see this end in a double count out. There, there's the experience of not just Sam Gradwell, but both men using that time to take a breather. Genius move. And now it's Rob Drake back to his feet. Rob Drake just laying slaps in to Gradwell. Gradwell now has him wrung by the ear like an impudent child. That's a massive right hand shot. Huge forearm. Gradwell laying them in. These shots are absolutely calamitous. Running towards him. Oh, big running forearm. He's lifted him up. Oh, straight over the shoulder. Dumped him out like yesterday's news. Close line taking Drake over the top. Now Gradwell, is he perhaps happy to take a count out of victory here? He's in no... No oh, mind to quickly move, yeah. I think he's starting to feel it here. The crowd are starting to feel it. Wait a minute. Oh, Gradwell. he's starting to feel it. He's not going to take this line down. Nimbly over the top rope. Hang and wait. Nails a flying forearm this time. Both men now down on the outside. Listen to this crowd. They don't want it to end like this. Crowell doesn't want it to end like this. Scooping the bigger man up. Slightly bigger, to be fair. Let's not count out Sam Gradwell. Oh, massive Down. STO. Perhaps not just quite getting all of it and not quite cinching in deep enough on the pin. Drake managing to kick out. Now, Rob Drake, we have seen Tom McManus earlier on tonight. He is a former member of Camp McManus. So you have to see if perhaps there may be a returner, if he is truly out on his own now. And he is truly the king of his own kingdom. Well, you know what they say, old flames never die, Jarvis. Oh, just a shot there to the shin. That'll immobilize anybody. The intelligence as well. Big, big Vulcan arrow there. The one, two. Just a two count. Just to go back there. The intelligence of Drake. What you do have to realize about Gradwell, he does have that knee support. That's exactly where Drake was aiming that kick. He may now try and perhaps focus in on that body part. There's an identified weakness framed by the very instrument that is designed to help it. A 
Matt saying that, a big rising knee with, with that that knee, knee brace. Butterfly suplex by Gradwell. Absolutely textbook, he's got the cover. Just a two count there. Millimeters away. I think official James Greenwood looks at just as shocked as we are. And it does signal the rest of the crowd that was just a two count. Listen to this crowd though, I think they smell blood the water. Sam Gradwell's ready for it. Seems to be favoring that, that hand of his, but oh, the end is now, look at this. He's got him up. Oh, but Drake. Oh, he's the intelligence, the getting the eyes and the nose. It's a dirty tactic, but he knows Gradwell. And he knows him all too well, unfortunately. Now the King of Bedlam might have him exactly where he was. No, he slipped back up and down the position. Greenwood's down, the referee's down. Oh, Sam Greenwell's out of play. Oh, oh, and Rob Drake has taken it to the lowest of lows. South of the border there. And we're not talking down Mexico way. Rob Drake with a low blow as he hooks Gradwell in. That's the Bedlam twist. And you can't help but feel that this will be the one, the two, and the three. Rob Drake making good. That's how you do it as Rob Drake picks up the win. Oh, we're on this match.